Morning guys. Um, haven't done an update video, I guess, in quite some time. Uh, I have some big changes on my tank here. Uh, some of you can probably see right now. If you've been following me on Google Plus or uh, Facebook, you probably know some of the changes that I've been posting. But I uh, figured I'd give you guys a uh, full tour of my updates and uh, things going on. So let's dive right into it. So hold on, let me take you closer. So, as you can see, I got rid of my uh, current US Orbit LED light, and I'm now running three Kessels. I'm running two A150Ws and one A360W. Now the 360W is uh, connected to the Spectrum controller, so it's programmable via that way. Um, so far, I'm very impressed with these lights. I started out with the one uh, A50, and then I picked up the other one and wasn't liking the light with the current US because with the bar light, it was kind of making shadows and I wasn't getting the light that I think I should have. So I went with the 360 there. So that's on the light. Now, one thing I do not like about the Kessels and it's not a big deal is there's really no wire management they provide three zip ties per gooseneck um, and that's about it so I, luckily I had some other zip ties myself so I, I kinda wish there was maybe a casing that you can slide the wire in or something like that I might even go pick up some uh, wire plastic wire molds that'll cover these make it a little look a little cleaner All right. uh, some other update I have is I got my first frag I have a pink bird's nest now I've been wanting to get a bird nest for some quite some time um, it's doing pretty well so uh, I've been looking at my fish stores and uh, the one guy I get most of my stuff from he had one but he had one probably about the size of my hand maybe a little bigger and he wanted a good I mean decent price but nothing I was willing to pay for uh, I happened to find another fish store I went to and uh, they had the frag at a decent price that I was willing to pay for so I picked up the frag and uh, it's been in my tank doing pretty good now I did have to move my Zoes uh, with the Kessel light, they actually used to be on this rock right here, and it was too much of a shadow on them. So I moved them over to a little island. So uh, hopefully it'll take off. Another thing I'm really, I, I'm hoping you guys can see on the video, uh, is the shimmer. This, the Kessel lights are giving amazing shimmer in the tank. It really looks like the ocean. So. That's another really pro about these uh, lights here they have. All the fish are doing well. I got my so I got the two clowns, the yellow tang, the powder brown, the flame, the danzels, and the chromies. I haven't added any other fish yet. I might look at a weasel, um, but I'm not sure yet. And then take it into my green star polyps. They're really bushy. So hopefully they'll start spreading out onto their island here. So I'm hoping soon they'll take off. Another update I've done on this tank is I took out my Coral Life skimmer and installed a Reef Octopus 110SSS skimmer. Now it's the same thing as a 110 um, traditional skimmer it just says a space saver so this I'm still trying to break them and I only installed it yesterday but so far I'm liking this skimmer better than coral life so that's really my update on this tank so you guys are probably wondering what did I do with my current US orbit light well 
I talked to my wife and we decided that we're going to get my quarantine tank back up and running no longer as a quarantine tank but as a tank in the bedroom so it's nice it gives us that nice lighting in the bedroom that's I don't have to keep flipping the switch and everything um, I did inform her that this will be her tank so she gets to choose what fish she puts in it I don't say I'm gonna put any corals in here I'm more just gonna go fish with this mount rock I have uh, the crushed coral gravel coming in soon that's what she wanted to go for the base I asked if she wanted to go bare bottom or uh, crushed coral she said sand but the problem is uh, I bred with the cancer filter they sometimes uh, suck up the sand and clog so I don't want to put sand in this filter or in this tank I don't want to break the filter so her second choice was a crushed coral see she's not a huge fan of the bare bottom uh, so that's gonna get that tank going I've uh, been using my uh, water changes from my 54 to fill this up and these rocks been here in here since I've been running this 36 gallon so I'm sure this tank is already ready for fish I can start populating it but uh, I'm gonna get the crushed coral in let that go test water make sure there's no ammonia or uh, nitrite in here uh, before adding any fish so guys that's my update for the week uh, like comment subscribe let me know what you think thank you